time ago. That's always the thing. Oh! Oh, Hello. can I crash this party? <laughs> <laughs> they just have the purses after purses after purses. He is chalkware. It's hiding back here. She looks vintage. Look at her. That's a. Uh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Let's, Let's get, get shot done. done. filming day but I am not alone. I am here not just with Carrie who oh there she is but I'm here with a long time ago that's always the thing oh oh well, can I crash this party is your hair is your hair ready wait <laughs> We're having a little, we're having a little, having a little hair moment here. Let's see who does it better. Tell Gary. me in the comments. Oh, my side could kick it. Who's? <laughs> ah. Is it sunny Las Vegas? I need my Biloxi cam. Or is it Carrie? Mermaid. I don't know. What do you think about these two? It's close. It's close. Yeah. I, I got it 51.49, but I'm not spilling the. <laughs> I, I people are going to look at me and be like, Bleh. I just, oh. Okay. We're here at Savers. You see who I'm with. It's time to get in there, and get shop done. Let's go. Let's, Let's get, get shop done. done. Woo. Will you pick me a lucky card, Carrie? I need a. I need the lucky one right there. So we've already been doing a little fun shopping, scavenger hunting. So not all of this is actually going to stay in my cart. Um, but I did find the boss. I, I do kind of like this shirt. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It is a little. It's a little fitting, and I, I'm sure Carrie would agree that the shirt yes. sassy? is. Well, you know what? You're trying to steal into my area too. Well, but but, but look, you are sassy and a little bossy. Well, you are. You, you could say it. Yeah, you could say it. Just a little bit. She's oh, trying well, to be nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that that's appropriate. And then I I found this shirt. For oh, Noah. Yeah. I'm gonna see if Noah would like that one. It's like super pretty. It's a Perry Ellis. Ooh, and it's this shirt. one is only $6.99. What's wow. the color that is um I don't know. But we do get 25% off. And I found this little uh I'm thinking it's a Lynx. Would you say it's a Lynx? For sure. Yeah, and it is a folk manis puppet. <gasps> you and those puppets. I know, I find these. I find these yeah. folk manis guys. So there we go. Let me see folk manis. You see Folk Manus. Now here's the squirrel I found for our contest, but I'm going to go put him back. And uh, the piglet, $5.99. If that's not the half price color, I'll put him back because you can see he's a little bit worn out. And he's, you could throw him in the washing machine though, so I'm not too worried about his schmooge. Um, but he probably sells for like 12 to 15. And then I found this big plush ice cream with it's actually got sprinkles on top it is 6.99 but we get 25 percent off it's a squish a bowl it's not a squish mallow so it's one of the i don't know who knocked off who but you know the squish thing it's the squish thing and then uh yes you knew where to go for the win i went for this turtle there's the turtle i am probably gonna put him back and you know, poo. There's the poo. I can always find poo. But, um, and I did pop a couple other things in here as I was, I couldn't, I couldn't not do it. Like they were just staring at me. No. Glass Ooh. fish. Oh. Look at this. Glass oh, fish. Yeah. Little now. glass angel fish. Um, they have a very nice quality, like almost like a Blanco kind of feel to them. So $3.99 on the big one and $2.99 a piece on the small ones, but they are 25% off. So I think, I'll, I think I'll be okay with those. And then I got, I think he's an unicorn pig, pig or pig? elephant. Pig. No, he's so, got to be a pig. What is this? That's his nose. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm looking at him upside down. It's a nose. It looks like a pig. I think it's a pig. I think he's, I think blue is the color. 
That's good. I'm pretty That's sure blue was the color. We'll, we'll go, we'll go verify that. All right, so that would make him two dollars and fifty cents. So there we go. There's my start. Now I'm gonna head to go do a little more shopping. They just have the purses after purses after purses. I, and it's crazy here. I spotted a 2010 Mickey Mouse. This is interesting. It's um, I'm not exactly sure how that, I don't know. It It's, it's almost like it's waterproof on here, but this is regular canvas. But then if it's all, this zips up. I don't know what even what I'm saying right now. Is it? It is Disney. I know it's 2010 Disney. But is it is it 10.99 worth? That's the question. Oh, let's see. That's terry cloth. Why would you have a terry cloth purse? That's odd. See. Colorful. I have found some really good wallets here too. I much prefer to list and sell a wallet than a purse. It's a little bit easier. Leo, Leoma Lovegrove. Ooh, $14.99. It's interesting. I'm going to look that one up. I think this is a good brand too. It's got little wooden handles, very boho, vintage inspired. Relic is good. I mean, yeah, I, I know the brand. So I'm gonna look up and see if these are worth $12.99 though, and $10.99. So it's all about, all about the margin. Okay, I did some lookups. I am going to get the Leoma Love Grope simply because it is new with tags. Um, they sell for about $30 ish. I do get 25% off, which is going to make this about 10, 11, something like that. I can't do the math in my head and talk at the same time. And I am doing a purse sale coming up. Uh, so this is a good one to add to that sale for me. And the relic also sells for about 30 to 35. And that's going to be again, like eight, nine bucks. So I'll pick that up. Sadly, the expandable, let me put that hanger back. The expandable Mickey Mouse tote only sells for about 10. So that one we got to put back. All right, look at this, just purses for days here. It's ridiculous. You could spend an entire afternoon just shopping the purses. That's funky. Oh, I do like me some fringe. Here is one of the wrapper purses. You gotta check condition on these because they are papery, <laughs> for lack of a better term. This is a double strap, it's kinda nice. I still don't know if blue is our color. Uh, even if it's not, this one's priced at only $5, which makes it very affordable. So we'll pick that up. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, and then it's a lion on the back? Well, that's interesting. Let's see who makes you. Oh boy, let's see if I can do, do this with one hand. Oh, it's basics. It's new with tags. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. And that's my left hand too. Makes it even more challenging. Oh, yeah, it is new. It's nice. Let's see. It is. It was only $8.80, $8.97 to begin with, $3.99, but it might only be two bucks. So we're gonna put that in the cart too. Right behind it was this one. Again, it looks like that same brand because it's got kind of the embellished print on one side. Now this one is $6.99, unless blue is the color, then it's only $3.50. So that one will go in the cart too. Oh, maybe, if I don't lose it. All right, I am now back to my little section over here after having some fun doing a little scavenger hunt with Mikey Bags of Money and Sunny Las Vegas and of course Carrie. You'll have to go watch his video to go see who won. Ha ha ha. You're never too old for a Disney movie. 
Oh, this is coming off of the thing here. I guess I should have gone and looked and seen what the color was while I was passing by that way. I totally missed. Coffee doesn't ask silly questions. Coffee understands. <laughs> Never been a coffee person though. He's from uh, Madagascar, right? He looks like the Madagascar zebra. It's pretty cute. As cute as this little print. Oh my goodness. $2.99. Look at that. That's adorable. I'm getting that. Oh boy. It's orange. It is not blue. Okay. That changes things. Oh, I found a mermaid. You know, she's in pretty rough shape. The canvas is all kind of all sucked in there. That's too bad. It's a nice mermaid and it's signed. Zhao Jing, I think. I don't know. I'll point it out to you. Carrie, my mermaid girl. Let's see what she thinks. I see birdies. I don't have any more room for birdies. Some mirrors. Hmm. Okay. I think I can escape the art today with just that one little piece. Let's see what we got in the regular sections. I passed right by these. I actually did throw those couple of things, but really just passed right by all of these shelves when we first came in. Oh, those are plastic. It's kind of a nice little Buddha head. $12.99. Have to leave it for that. This looks Italian. Probably says Italy underneath here. Yep, sure does, right there. It's pretty chipped up, unfortunately. Glaze chips, the chipping doesn't, eh, it does a little bit go into that one. Not bad, but not enough that we're gonna pick it up. Oh goodness, I see a strawberry jar. These are always fun to pick up at the right price. Three ninety nine is not bad, that would make it about three bucks. I think I'll pick that one up. He is chalkware. You can see he's pretty chipped up, but sometimes you can get away with that. It almost reminds me of one of those bosun figures. I'm looking for a signature to tell me that I could even get away with it having some uh, damage, but I don't see one, so... I'm gonna leave him. It's pretty pretty nice, but a little bit too chipped up for me to take a chance on. Beautiful shell dish. Susie and Kent love anti ruby. So this is a kind of a homemade piece. I don't know if it was just a mold, not a mold, um, kind of a raw piece that she painted and glazed. It's kind of nice. Then I see a starfish, $5.99. Yeah, can't do $5.99 on those. They're they're nice, but I mean, I'd, I'd want to be more at like 2 or $3 on those. So if they're still here when they go half price, I might be the one that picks them up. This is St. Louis Crystal from France. That one is $6.99 again. I think I will leave it. So they're definitely increasing their prices again. That's $5.99 for just a little mushroom guy. It's nice, but I'm gonna leave that one too. I'm gonna be picky, I don't know. I'm inspired to be picky when I shop with Mikey. He inspires me to be picky. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Here's a kitty cat. These are Princess House, but again, no can do, no can do. Ooh, that's a really, really nice piece, but $12.99. No can do. That looks like a little Wedgwood, but the, it doesn't feel like Wedgwood when I pick it up. 1978, so this was, this is just a little hobbyist piece someone did to look like Wedgwood. But it's not Wedgwood. Ooh, that's another really, really lightweight piece. All right, nothing's really 
really saying uh, by me. Okay, candle section. See if we can find anything cool enough to pick up. I have actually a version of this that's six of these, and I kind of love it. I really don't like the $7 price tag, but I'm buying this more for personal, so I will pick it up. That's an interesting ashtray, and it rattles. <laughs> Palawan? That's odd. That is odd. Okay. Ooh, got some old irons. Now, these are used for door stops and other such fun. I can't even hardly pick this up. It's so heavy. Oh, I can't even imagine the arms that these women had back in the day to be able to use an iron like this. I am not going to pick these up because they're just a little more than I want to deal with, and they're 10 bucks. So that doesn't really leave me enough meat on the bone. This is chipped. It was here last time. I liked it then. I like it now, but it is chipped. So we got to leave her behind. Mm -hmm. Oh, bunnies. Hello, bunnies. Who makes you? I don't know. Let's look under here and see who makes the bunnies. Bunny, 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 bunnies. Uh, is that Hallmark? It might be Hallmark. They're asking $3.99 a piece. So it makes them like, it would be like, be like five bucks for prayer. I think I'm going to leave them. I'm going to practice the Mikey skill of being picky and I'm going to leave the bunnies. Going to leave the bunnies. Anything else here? I can't live with that. Oh, I wonder if uh, Carrie saw this. What do we got? She just looks vintage. Project chemistry kit. Not as vintage as I thought. Never mind. They have definitely, definitely raised their prices back up. That's okay. You know what? That's just going to force me to be pickier and pickier. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I won't come home with as much stuff to deal with. I will be much more selective. Who makes you? Oh, you got a name under there and it's covered up. On every single one of them, it's gonna be covered up. Hmm. Yeah, that one's kind of where I can, I don't wanna damage the sticker underneath. It needs to be like heated up so that you don't pull off the sticker underneath. But this one is kind of loose, so I'm able to slowly pull this one up. They're Franklin Mint Wildlife Preservation Sculpture Collection. That is what those little guys are. All right, there's several of them. Oh my goodness, look at the birds. Ooh, are you a Kokloma bird? You do look like a Kokloma bird, made in Soviet Union. This is an older piece, and it is not priced, so they'll have to give me a, a price at the register, but I'm going to put that in the cart. It's hiding back here. She looks vintage. Look at her. Six bucks. Let's see if you've got a name. you got a mark under there. Ugh. Ugh. Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay, that's all I need to know. She's super vintage. She's super cute. I'm gonna grab her. Is that a velvet skeleton? Ha! It is. Oh, you're so fuzzy. This looks like a very, very frazzled uh, father or grandfather. Again, it's like a chalkware. It is granddad's darling. Okay, so it's grandpa. Nature craft. 1973 that's definitely got some age on it but it's it's really really chipped it's really chipped 
So unfortunately, we have to leave that one behind. Take a peek at the metal laser art. I do like to pick these up, but six, I mean, it's gonna sell for 10 to 12, maybe up to 15 if I'm lucky. So can't pay six for it. Gotta leave that one. I see more Cochloma. Seven dollars on this one. This one's not as exciting as the bird piece, but it does have strawberries. Hmm. And it would be. Oh gosh, I can't do that math in my. I cannot do 25% in my head for some reason. Um, it's gonna be like five-ish, five something. Oh, what the heck. I'm gonna grab it. That's uh it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Oh, let's see what's in the fake plants and flowers and baskets. Nothing, nothing, nothing speaking to me today. Nothing speaking to me. Let's see if there's anything in the vases. I usually find at least one good thing over here in their vase section. Will today be an exception to that rule? It's quite possible. Quite possible. Had an interesting look to it. I don't like the feel. And I think we're striking out in the uh, vases today. Yes, we are. This little guy caught my eye. It just looks like somebody painted him. You know what? He's better from a distance. Close up. You can really see that he's just painted. Very nice. Very nicely done, though. Just not something for me to resell. Metal brain drains. Oh, those things. I don't like those. <gasps> Give me a J. That's kind of a bougie J. Kind of a bougie copper J. Kind of like it. Oh, did Carrie see the little mermaid back here? I wonder. I wonder. I don't know what she'd do with her. But... I did finally get my hummingbird feeder hooked up and got my little hummingbird visiting me in the window. He's so cute. I love him or her. I think actually it's a her. How do you tell the difference between a him and a her hummingbird? I bet somebody watching this knows and will tell me down in the comments. Okay, that's an Arizona license plate thingamajig. Stay a while. Let's E. And that's interesting. Music box. It's nice, but it's kind of taped together on the top, which is no good. Oh, there's some interesting things. Now these drawing racks, everybody always tells me, don't pass them up, don't pass them up. They're worth money. And these are only $5 each? Yeah, okay, I see you for $5, Ella. I'll go with the $5 thing. Yep, each one. So I'm picking up three of these. It's actually not a drying rack. It's a folding wine rack. So I just wanted to show you that I do know what it is and I'm still picking it up. This box right here, it's for $2.99, is a humidor, but it's missing a part of it. And I don't know if they are still worth as, I mean, obviously they're not worth as much, but if you know, anybody would even buy it without missing the, what is it, like the, the humidity thing? And I don't know if you can get replacements. Might be a nice box for somebody if they know how to fix that up. <laughs> All right, we'll probably go pretty quick through this section. 
super shooter, electric cookie, canap, and candy maker. Hmm. Hmm. I think we can find some of this vintage cookware stuff. Can be worth some money. Look at this phone. That's it. That's a real phone. It's a real phone. All right. Let's scooch right through this electronical section and head for more interesting things. All right, we're in kind of the kitchen wares. I'm looking for any cool goodies, like a unicorn mug. I just don't need that right now. It's a cute butter dish, but it's probably just like a modern Target brand. Yeah, just not even a brand, it's just made in China. Very functional. The kind of thing I think people come to a thrift store to find for their own homes. So that's cool if they can find that. There's one of those Himalayan salt kind of things. I'm not sure why does it have a little ball in there like that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here's a silver plate butter dish looking for a name on it and I am not seeing one yeah I need some serious polishing I gotta tell you I do not polish things if I buy them this way I sell them this way I let the new owner do the polishing some people like the patina to look just like that so I tend to not do the polish I don't know there's something appealing about this piece don't you think for $3.99, see, I'm enticed to pick it up. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. What is this? That says Heritage Mint, something in collectible. Not super old, and it's missing its lid. Looks like it was a pear and then with strawberries entwined around it. That's a cool platter, but again, as I've said previously, platters and me just don't get along, so I leave platters behind. That was trying to look like Fiesta, but it is not. Oil and vinegars, which is kind of interesting. wonder if they had a holder originally that they were in. Probably a little fondue cooker and see some little salt and peppers that do appear to be vintage. Yeah, look at the little made in Japan stickery do. You're asking a dollar ninety nine each. I'm just checking them over to make sure they're not broken and glued. And you know what? Those will go in my Christmas in July sale happening later this month. Let's see if there's anything amazing on these shelves. I do love the watermelon stuff. These are so cheaply made though. They're 1993 Boston Warehouse, but look at they didn't even put the paint all the way. I guess they did that on purpose, but to me and my little OCD brain, that just looks unfinished. Am I alone on that? Let me know if you feel the same way. If you'd want that painted just a little bit better. Is this Pioneer Woman? It is. Look at that. Unfortunately, it's got this big ding in it. And the newer stuff really has to be about perfect to still retain its resale value. So, so that is a no-go. Thought maybe that might be fused glass, but it is not. It is not. You're filling the cart? I am. Awesome. Ooh, another it's the moon. Another, another dish. What'd you get, Sunny? Oh, look at that shirt. Look at that shirt. <laughs> found something vintage here. Look at that. I love, I love the blue. I call this bougie blue. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors. Valley Vista, California, USA. This is 
1950s. Oh, that's why it's still here. Oh, what do you do when you find something so cool? I'm still going to rescue it because look, it, it displays perfectly fine. You can barely see it has that. I'm rescuing it. I see Pyrex. That one is very dishwashered. This one, it's fairly common. This isn't, this is, is this not Pyrex? This is, um, isn't this Bakelite? Not ba Bakelite. What's the other? Glass bake, I'm going to say. It looks like glass bake to me, not even Pyrex. So. We would leave that too. Boy, what a mishmash of cookie pans going on here. Woof. You got to leave. Oh, that's right. You got to get home and cook some dinner. Did you, are you, are you old enough to remember this show? Yes. Did you watch the show? That, especially when he was in Little House of the Prairie. Right? One of my favorite shows. He reminds me of my dad every time. I watched reruns. Not going to lie. Sadly, that doesn't really have any resale value. I found me a Rise and Grind Pure One. Again, it's like it's trying to look like Ray Dunn. And Ray Dunn itself is not doing so good. So I doubt that this one really has much value. It could, but I'm not picking it up this time. I'm not going to do it. I do. I do like that. Ponderosa Ranch. Sonny didn't quite make it out. He found himself a Starbucks mug. Moment of truth. Is it worth anything? Utah mug. Come on, sausage fingers. Stop pressing double. <laughs> we want to know. This one. I'm not seeing this one exactly. Some Utah ones are selling for 25 bucks. But it's not showing this exact one. Oh. So it might be an older one. You know what I do? What? Sort by highest first and see if any in that same... Because we don't care about the ones selling for low money. We want to see what's... Oh, look. Oh. Oh. oh there it is. There it is. whoop de doo 68, 69. Shazam. Shazam. That's a nice little parting, parting find. I could drink. Excellent. I could <laughs> yeah, now he's down here digging a little, <laughs> dig a little deeper because if there's one... There, there could, could be, be more. Yeah, that's what I always think. Always. There's one, there could be more. And the fact that it's still here and another reseller, you know, didn't find it and scoop it yet, always a good sign. I'm kind of drawn to these little mid-century looking guys. They are marked Japan on the bottom. Again, they look like they sat in something. I'm not going to pick them up. I'm a little heavy on coffee mugs right now, so I'm going to pass. All right, that was, a, that was a very nice score that Sunny just found on the way out. There are some Broncos travel mugs for $4.99. I'm not sure those to Mikey. I don't think he saw those. He might want to look those up. Carrie had to leave. Carrie's heading to California for the weekend. So she had to say her farewells already. And I, I don't even think I thought to turn my camera on while we were doing that. But had to give her hugs. I will miss her. I will miss her. She'll be back on Tuesday. I keep forgetting that Monday's a Monday's a big holiday. And I'm supposed to not work on Monday. I wonder if I can get away with that. Just not working. See if there's anything exciting in the cookware. This is another row I go by pretty quick. Pretty quick. Something would really, really have to stand out to me to make me stop and look closer. All right, glasses. These look like newer. Yeah, I think they are. They're not depression. They're a newer glass. These are kind of nice. I like the stems on these. I wish more companies I would etch who they are into the bases for us. But they don't. Now those look depression. This pink actually looks like depression pink. Those are nice. 
Those are nice. Two fifty a piece. So to, so to get a set, you'd have to spend. Mm, there are six of them. Five ten. So fifteen dollars in order to get a, a six piece set. And I'm not sure they're worth doing that. And these are nice. But as I am in picky mode today, they are not nice enough. These are Libby with the little crooked zigzag stems. These are a good seller for me. Um, but again, I'm, I, I won't even get to listing something like that for quite some time because I'm concentrating on getting my higher end items listed, my more seasonal items listed. Uh, and those are more of my filler type items. So that's why I'm not picking any more of those up right now but they do sell really well. Korea, those are pretty. I do like the flowers in those. Let's see what else is in the plates. Ooh, what are you, are you Gibson or are you? I think they're Gibson, they're mainstays. Okay, same difference. Trying to look like Fiesta. But if I don't stop and look, then everybody tells me in the comments, you passed by Fiesta. I'm like, no, no, I didn't. These look like 2225th. They sure are. Some really beautiful patterns in the 2225th. Super love them. Oh, and I really do love the, uh, these are Mikasa, I want to say. Yeah, Mikasa Garden Club Basket of Wildflowers. I love the Mikasa dishes, but they don't really sell. Unfortunately. Okay. Look at that colorful baby. Wowza. That has got that's got some colors going. Little little not my style. Oh, let's cruise through the textiles. See what calls to us. It's just fabric. All right, nothing super exciting this time. Let's take a peek in the pillows. I see some interesting bird pillows and they do appear to be vintage. They got kind of that uh, velvety fabric on the back. And what I like is that there are two of them. Pillows do definitely sell well when you have a pair. So for $3.99 each, I think I will pick those up. I see this Cardinal sticking out here too, but he's not really good quality. And that's about the only things I see over here. Let's see what's over here in the mishmash section of blankets and such. That looks like an, I was, I thought for a minute it was like an eye, eye chart, but it's not. It says something, but it's, it's really a cheaply made. Then there's all these little wood discs for three bucks each. Okay. Hmm. Pet stuff. Crafty section here. And then I've got some bathroom stuff here. Always another place that glassy babies could show up, but I see something. Now I already got one of these the other day. And I did identify it, but I don't I can't tell you what it is now. This one says Springs Global. Now the other one was somebody else, but it's the exact, it's the exact same thing. I guess, is it made to like hold toothbrushes or something? I don't know, but you know what? I'm going to pick this up so that I can sell them as a pair. All right, I am going to go through the baggies here. One of my favorite places to shop here. What are the, oh, little mosaics. Ooh. Another little craft I would like to do one day when I get some free time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Those are cute bottle stoppers. Just looking something up. What do you think about some Denver Bronco uh, oh, Spirit so Travel Cups? Broncos. They got the Spirit. We should, uh... Could those be good? Maybe? Maybe. We'll check them out. All right. They got spirit. They do. Oh my gosh. How did Carrie miss these? <laughs> and they're half price. The orange is the half price color. I will be picking these up for Carrie. 
Although we will be missing her cute little ghosty sound as I find these. Mikey's being so picky, he's only got two things in his cart. <laughs> I, I could really learn from that, I'm telling you. But what fun would that be? I'm gonna move these and see what these little watermelons are. Are they little miniature water? Oh, it's a watermelon tea set. <gasps> what? Oh, no way. Come on. Come on, I gotta have that. Now, what are these guys? Okay, they are. They're resin. They're not, I thought they were like flocked and vintage. They might be vintage, but not vintage enough to have great value. What are you in there? Sometimes these baggies can have some fantastic stuff like, oh, look at that snail shell. Ooh, I love that. And then there is a pewter donkey. And then what else is in here? Oh, there's a little wood dolphin and a little, like a little pill box and a thing with seagulls. This is a pretty nifty little bag of stuff. I'm gonna grab this one. Let's see what else we got back here. Ooh, are those stoppers? They're stoppers, I thing or is that part of a doorknob no it's it's a doorknob it's a doorknob okay we don't need a partial doorknob definitely not but we might need these little we might need these little handbag resin guys look at these let's see what these are not sure what that is but do these open no I don't think they open they're just and they're chipped that's a bummer. Those are really cute, but definitely not in good enough shape. So we will leave those. Let's see what else we can find. Oh look, there's there's more poo. <laughs> We're not looking for poo anymore. This one had pumpkin tea set in it, but I don't know that the well there is a lid there. Oh, there's lids. Oh, I don't know if there's enough pieces there to make it worthwhile or not. I just don't know. I'm, okay, I'm gonna leave that one. I wish it was in a bag by itself so I could really see it. But I can't. Got more seashells. Now you know me. I'm like on a little bit of a quest for... Ooh. They're plastic. They're plastic. They didn't break. A little bit of a quest for shells for my hermit crabs, but these are all pretty open, flat shells. So these are the kind I like for my Hermes, but there's a lot of shells in here. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? I could combine, I could take the ones I want out of this and the ones I want out of the bag I bought the other day and then combine the rest and just make a lot and sell them all together. And then that way I could keep the ones that I really, really like. So yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because bags of shells will sell. Let's see what's some of these. Oh, those are cute little salt and peppers with the swans on them. I like the little stuff. I like shipping it. I like selling it. All right. I don't see anything else exciting up here. Oh, that's broken, whatever that was. Oh, there's its head. <laughs> that's a trap. That's what happens when you stuff a bunch of stuff into a baggie. Goodness. It gets a little jostled around and breakage happens. Oh, those are nice beads. Crafting beads. Very nice crafting beads. Hmm. I'm not a crafter, but I know enough to know those are nice beads. Look, at that's a 2002. Los Angeles King's Puck. I should ask Mikey about that. It came from a Toyota dealer, but it's old. Hmm. I might point that out to him. Let's see what he thinks. Let's see. Candles. Nope. Trivial Pursuit. Nope. Okay, we're coming to the end. See what's gonna happen here. 
Hmm. Ten frames cards. More little. I like this little acrylic uh, globe paperweight in here, and I'm trying to see if it says Russia or Soviet Union, because that's a good uh, indicator of age on this. But boy, is it hard to read. Let's see. <gasps> believe it says Soviet Union. So that is definitely vintage. What else is in here that I can sell? I mean, there's a couple cute little miniature kind of things. I, I think I, I think there's enough value in just this little paperweight to uh, go ahead and, and pick this up for $4.99 minus 25%. And the last little section here. Oh. Ring for kisses. Oh, we got fruit. We've got, ooh, artichoke. Oh, these artichokes are pretty spectacular. Artichokes and lemons. I think I'm down for picking up some fruit. $3.49 a bag. I'm going to grab them all. All right, I was walking around here to try to find where Mikey is, and I found this really pretty quilted. I thought it was like just a cover, but. I'm a little thrown off by these. Does this mean somebody used it um, as a curtain? No, I don't know. Does it, I'm trying to see. Does this loop go all the way through? It does, look, so there's like, it's almost like a curtain thing, but then those come off. I'm, I'm a little puzzled by that, but it's just, it's beautiful with these little, blue flowered embroidered i i gotta get this it's just three dollars and 49 cents all right well i've got to head home i have something super exciting happening it is i am having another aquarium installed in my house i've actually i bought it like a month ago act no more than two months ago it's been sitting in storage waiting for my aquarium guy to be able to come and uh install it for me. So he's meeting me in like half an hour over at my storage to go move the aquarium, get it to my house, and get it set up. Uh, so I need to go check out of here. And uh, I'm going to do a recap and tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it is worth on eBay based on actual sold comps. So uh, stay tuned for that. And don't forget to go over to Mikey Bags of Money's channel and see the scavenger hunt that we had and all the goodies that everybody ended up finding over there. All right, see you in the car.
was super fun. Once again, it's just so great to shop with friends. Let me turn that air down just a little bit so it's not so loud. Um, and as I said, I'm like, I'm solo right now. Uh, everybody had to go home. I kind of held out um, because the first part of the shopping trip, I did not film. I just had fun with my friends. We did a little scavenger hunt challenge, which is on it's going to be on, I don't know when the video is going to come out, but, but Mikey Bags of Money, make sure you're following him because that's where the video is going to come out. Sunny Las Vegas shot some video, so check out what the, I don't even know. I don't even know what they filmed yet until I see their videos come out, so how fun is that? I'm heading home now to meet with my aquarium uh, guy. I have a guy who comes out every two weeks to service my the aquarium I already have, and he helped me find and purchase... A new aquarium so I'm really really excited it's been sitting in storage I'm like chomping at the bit to get that one set up it's gonna have totally different kind of fish in it uh, because you can't have certain kind of fish with your corals and your anemones and your shrimpy guys and my basically my reef tank can't have some of the fish that I want so setting up a whole new tank it's gonna be super fun uh, and I'm gonna share it all with you so with that I'm heading home you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.